Hey guys, Xperiaps here, and in this video, I am going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPad Touch with the new Red Snow. And it is Red Snow 0 0.9 Beta 3, so it is the beta version. And when it's out of beta, it will support the iPad Touch 3rd generation, it says on uh, the website. Um, <clears throat> sorry, so, uh, the beta supports all iPhones and iPad Touches except the iPad Touch third generation, Windows and Mac OS X, uh, Apple firmware 3.0 and 3.1.2. And, uh, <clears throat> That is basically all it says on their info website. It says it is a lot more information, but not very important. So <clears throat> there is some downloads that you have to have, and that is obviously the Red Snow application. There is no program for Windows or Mac, and the links will be in the video description over here, or there, or there depend on where you are watching this video on my channel uh, high quality or just regular and you actually have to download a firmware and uh, then you have to go to this website I'm just gonna um, this website It is called um, felixbruns.de and I will have the link in the video description as well and <clears throat> here you download the actual firmware it says iPhone or iPod Touch and if you want the iPod Touch first generation you have break, you just scroll down to iPod Touch 1G uh, 3.1.2 slash 7011 or if you're on the 3.0 firmware as this support as well scroll down to iPad Touch uh, first generation 3.0 slash 7A341 so yeah uh, and I am using the iPhone 3G by the way so down, just choose the firmware that you want to download and click download and I have already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. And that is basically all the stuff that you have to download. It is Red Snow for the iPhone and uh, your fire, uh, firmware. So when you download this, it will come as a .zip file. So you <clears throat> need to have WinRAR as well. I'm just gonna fix my tripod so that I can get off the camera a little bit so that you can see. Like that. And so you have to have WinRAR or a program like that. <clears throat> and you also have to have obviously an iPhone oops an iPhone and a USB cable and you have to be connected to your computer and you can actually change your boot log over this jailbreak so it's quite nice so now let's take a look at it this is what we'll see it says welcome to red snow th uh, 0 0.9 beta 3 copyright blah 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 please read all uh, and there's just some information. Now what you want to do is you want to click browse here. And now browse the firmware. And here it is. iPhone 1, uh, comma 2. Uh, yeah. So that is the firmware that I downloaded. And then it just say IPSW successfully identified then when you see that click next and it says patching kernel and this is all the uh, features 
install city Rivers boot, custom boot logo, custom recover logo, and already pwned. So I'm gonna choose. Um, I'm actually I actually don't have a custom boot logo, but I'm just gonna uh, cut the video and download a nice. Uh, nice boot logo and a nice recovery mode logo and I will get back to you and see how you do it. So I just made two simple backgrounds in Photoshop. This is the boot logo and this is the recovery mode logo. Quite ugly but I just create, created them fast so that I could continue this tutorial. Uh, then I want to browse them. I want to go back to the Redison application. Um, choose the folder and here is the boot logo so I click that and recovery mode logo is right that so that is what you want to do uh, there is nothing else you have to do and the boot logo has to be 320 by 480 pixels in PNG format RGB color or grayscale and less than 100 kilobytes. So that is the requirements of the boot logo and the recovery mode logo. So then you can actually continue. Make sure your device is both off and plugged in. And so then obviously you have to turn off your iPhone. slide your power off and make sure it is off okay now now it is really off now it is and uh, click next only when your device is both off and plugged in and now I'm going to film my iPhone uh, just get I just want to get the right angle. It's a little bit hard with this trip pod. Uh, like, like that. So now I want to click next. And it says hold on the power button for 3 seconds. Then I do that. Without re releasing the power button, hold down the home button for 10 seconds. And we're without releasing the home button, release the power button. But keep holding the home button for 30 seconds. So that is what you want to do. So first, you have to hold down the power button for 10 seconds or 5 seconds. And keep holding the home button because there has been a lot of issues at where it says waiting for reboot. Keep holding the home button. It worked for me. And when you can when you can see this, uh, then you are safe. Then you can release the home button. So I sorry that I was going through it kind of fast there. But first you have to hold down the power button for like five seconds till it turns off or till um not turns off but you have to hold down the power button for like five seconds then also hold that hold down the home button for ten seconds and then release the power button but keep holding the home button for like thirty seconds and don't stop until you can see this logo. Just a little ad you can see that the build logo works. Thanks for watching again please subscribe. Not a little ad to say that it works. I've customized my and my keypad which is which you all can do if you're on your working device. So again, thanks for watching.